Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful afternoon here. We had a whole bunch of rain there yesterday, but things are starting to dry out just a bit. And I had the uh, brush hog on the tractor from the other day, so I wanted to come down here and uh, mow up this power line. I planted some clover here and some chicory and it grew, but it is just getting all taken over by weeds. So I figured I'd come down here and mow it down. And probably one more time this fall, and then I'll overseed it with something. But it is amazing how fast things will grow up around here. Just a couple months ago, this was pretty much uh, bare dirt. Right behind me here, it uh, drops off really steep. So I'm just going to mow up here to the edge and uh, call it good. But I think I mentioned in the video the other day that uh, Levi sent us a video of a bear. And I think we can officially say we now have black bear around here. Normally they would pass through early spring I guess it'd be like the juveniles kind of looking for a place to live but we're seeing not me but everybody else around here some bigger ones and everybody's been posting pictures here pretty much the last two years but uh, this year seemed to be a lot more common so I really don't know what I have to say about that I actually think it's kind of cool that they're around but they are already kind of ripping up everybody's bird feeders and they don't seem to care either they just walk right past people's houses through their yard up their driveway I thought they'd be a little more skittish but uh, they're not at all but right now I'm running the uh, MX 5400 as most of you know and the Land Pride Brush Hog 
and it is doing a fabulous job. If I bought a piece of property that was, uh, you know, all overgrown, this would probably be one of the first things that you would want. Right here. If it's really grown up with, you know, small trees and stuff, you can probably hit it once, you know, rent or find somebody with like a forestry mulcher first. But after that, you can really maintain a lot just with a brush hog. You know, it's not like I mow this every week. I'll mow this twice a year and it uh, keeps everything in shape and looking good. Alright, looks pretty good. Got her all mowed up. Looks nice. If you have been uh, following our channel for a while, you know we call this area here Maple Grove. Well, there's kind of a uh, interesting story about this piece of ground here. When I bought this piece of property uh, a couple years ago, this came with a brick house. And this section in here, it's not real big. It's probably only... 650 feet wide but then it goes all the way to the top of the hill up there and the uh, brick house is over there so this is about a five acre piece and when we bought this property uh, that joined ours where the brick house is the reason i wanted it is back by the uh, mini cabin there you know beautiful flat ground and the way they buy property around here i knew there would be a housing plan or at least a couple houses back there. So I had to buy this property. And I was fortunate when I bought it because this piece of ground never hit the market. See, what happened was I knew the uh, previous owner that used to live in the brick house. He was an older gentleman. And once he passed away, he left the property to some family. Well, they lived out of state and I got to know them, but they didn't do anything with it for at least, I don't even know, three or four years. And I stayed in contact with them. You know, they knew that I was interested. So when the time came, that they decided to sell it, I was able to buy it without it going through a realtor and without it going on the open market. So it took a while to close on the property, but as soon as it was ours, we officially bought it, my phone started ringing once people found out. People that were wanting to know if we wanted to sell some of this property. And at first I thought, no, I don't want to sell any of it. But then I got to thinking, this area down here, I really never paid much attention to this spot down here. Uh, I was focusing on everything like up by our house or over by the brick house. And, uh, you know, right down over the hill, here's a road. You could cut a driveway in down there. So I started considering selling a five acre lot down here. And I could have gotten probably half of what I paid for the entire parcel and the house for this five acres. I even went as far as to show it to a few people. And uh, we were really thinking about doing it, you know, because I thought to myself, this is a long way from our house it really wouldn't concern me if somebody built down here and we could have got at least half if not more of our money back that we paid for the whole piece like just up the road from the uh, brick house a little bit there were two lots for sale both under five acres and one's kind of a flag lot and i know they both sold for over 150,000 each and i think even closer to 200,000 somewhere between there so there's definitely some real value here and uh, we considered it, we showed it to a few people, we looked at a few offers, but at the end of the day, we said, you know what, we're just gonna keep it. And it would have been easier just to take the money right then and be done with it, but I am so glad that we didn't decide to sell it. So now I have absolutely no plans to do anything with this piece of property. I may just come down here, you know, two, three times a year and brush hog it and keep it cleaned up, but who knows what will happen down the road. You know, daughter Hannah just got married, uh, maybe someday her and Tyler will build a house here or even Eva. Who knows what will happen, but it's one of the best things I ever did was not selling this piece of property. So we all know as you go through life, you know, sometimes there's uh, certain situations or circumstances that are out of your control and you may have to sell some property. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to hold on to this as long as I can. I have never met anybody that, you know, looked back over the years and said, man, I'm glad I sold that property when I did. 
I always say, you know, when you buy a piece of property, you can't believe how much it costs when you bought it. But when you look back in 10 or 20 years, you can't believe how little you actually paid for it. But anyway, I'm going to hop back in the tractor, head up to the house, and uh, we'll see what else we get into here this evening. All right, back over here at the house. Check that out. That was planted 10 days ago, I think. Yeah, 10 days. That kind of shows you how much it's been raining here. But boy, is that coming in nice. So earlier I mentioned that today's video was sponsored by Simply Safe, and I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. They make a great product, they have great service, and they've been a fantastic partner to our channel. If you're not familiar with Simply Safe, it's an incredibly effective, very easy to use, reliable security system for your home. We have had our system installed in our house for a little over two years and it works flawlessly. One of the things I like most about it was the ease of installation. I have mentioned it several times before. I'm not a real techie kind of guy, but once everything arrived, I had everything up and running in a single evening, didn't leave anything out, and it has worked glitch-free for over two years. Now around here, most of the time, somebody's here at the house, uh, but I may be down at the sawmill. Melissa may go for a hike out in the trails might go down to Levi and Kate's house, and if one of us forgets to set the alarm, we simply pull out our phone, arm it from our phone, and it works great. It kind of gives us peace of mind. If you're in the market for a security system, there will be a link in the description, and we highly recommend Simply Safe. What up, Eva? Nothing. You ready to go? Yep. Let me get my seatbelt on. Let's see my keychain. A subscriber sent us these. Koalas. Oh yeah, from uh, Australia. Australia. Yep. My keychain when I still can't drive though. You'll get your license. Not soon enough. So you remember the uh, backup camera problems with the Jeep? It just started working on its own. So Eva has been uh, having a little trouble passing her driver's test. And she does really well. She really does. Uh, she doesn't make me nervous at all anymore like you did when you first started. You do great at the parallel parking, all that stuff. But the last time that she went, uh, there were two instructors in the car. And I think just the nerves are getting you. That's the only thing I can think. But uh, you're feeling more confident, even more so than you were before. We'll practice a couple more times, but... When we go parallel parking, she gets literally 20 in a row perfectly. Put two instructors in the car, not so much. So Melissa and Ty and the dogs just got back from a little hike. Ty's being a little camera shy here today. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> He's not real happy for some reason. It's the humidity. It's pretty humid today. You don't like the humidity. You're like Pap. Well, I gotta get back at it. See ya. Give me five. Give him five. Give me five. <laughs> Four. <sighs> wow. Tough crowd. It is a tough crowd. All right, I'm back in the tractor here. And I'm actually headed back up to the old apple orchard. When I was up here the other day, I kind of forgot a section. I got busy or whatever. Coming up this hill, I'm noticing, I don't know if you can see on that right side, you can tell how much rain we got yesterday. All the leaves and all the, you know, sticks, everything's gone. There's just a big channel ripped down that right side there going up the hill. But this hill here, it's pretty much... Uh, there's rock right underneath the surface, so it never really erodes much more than what you see there. But it does dry up pretty quick this time of year. That's one good thing, because we probably had an inch and a half of rain there the other day, and it's pretty good now.
know if I could ever get tired of brush hogging. I don't know why. I mean, maybe if I had to do it all day, every day, I'd get sick of it. But it's just that instant gratification, being able to take something that's all grown up, looks like kind of a mess, and in no time at all, you can make it look really nice with this thing on the back of the tractor. I love it. I do. I can stay in this tractor all day doing this. All right. There you have it. That's the uh, end of the brush hogging, at least for a few months. I'll go back to the house and uh, take that off. Probably put the land plane on because tomorrow morning I need to go down by the pond, uh, out in front of the pond. If you saw that video the other day, that road down there is completely washed out. It's impassable. So I'm going to get that fixed up tomorrow morning. And then I think every ounce of trail we have, about three miles, is uh, all opened up till the next windstorm or something. Then there'll be trees down, but yeah, everything's coming along pretty good. And tomorrow after I finish up down by the pond, I got a little bit of work to do inside the new building uh, to get ready for the concrete pour. That'll be coming up soon. And then a lot of things will be focusing on the building on the interior after that. But I think that's about it for today's video. I want to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. And remember, whenever somebody buys land, they can't believe how much it costs. But when you look back from 10 or 20 years, you can't believe how little you actually paid for it. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.